Hey guys, in today's micro lecture, we're going to talk about an open pneumothorax. Now, when we talk about pneumothoraces, it's the tension pneumothorax that usually gets quite a bit of attention. But there is also this thing called an open pneumothorax that I think is personally um, under discussed. So let's just recap then. In the tension pneumothorax, you have a situation whereby there's a buildup of air in the pleural space. And every time the patient takes a breath in, air sucks into that space and compresses the lung. And that's called a tension pneumothorax. Now on most occasions, a tension pneumothorax occurs in, in this mechanism whereby there's something stopping the air leaving the injured area. So for example, if somebody's shot in the chest or stabbed, then there's a flap of skin that seals itself up, which usually allows air in, but not out. Now, the open pneumothorax has very similar principles, except on many occasions, the, um, the, the opening is actually still open, again, allowing air to suck into the chest and to build up and compress the actual lung itself, which in many occasions then leads to the tension pneumothorax. Now, the word tension, remember, occurs once the lung has been compressed so badly that it pushes the, the other organs, the heart, the trachea, the other lungs, away from the side of the injury. So I can actually show you what this looks like here. So here's an actual photo of an open pneumothorax. So here the, um, the, the, the chest wall is still open. And as you can see, the air would just naturally go into this space rather than going into the normal mechanism. So for example, through the, through the nose and the mouth. But that hole has to be more than one third the size of the diameter of the trachea for that to happen. Now as the paramedic, it's your role to apply what's called an Asherman seal or at least some kind of seal to prevent the air from going into this, this injury and therefore minimizing the, the potential for a tension pneumothorax. Now on this image here, you can see just a normal three-way occlusive dressing. So you've got a dressing, you've sealed up one side here, one side here, one side here, and you've allowed this side here to let the air out. So it says take down three sides and allow the air to drain out. Now there are different seals called, an, for example, an Asherman seal, which you guys can probably look at in your row. There you go, one, there's one there, look, the Asherman, Asherman chest seal. Um, and these are designed to do the, the, a better job of this makeshift seal that we can do here. But in principle, it all has the same effect. As you can see, the idea is that the air comes down and instead of it hitting, uh, going in through that hole, it actually is de deterred by the actual dressing itself. So that's a, a micro lecture on the open pneumothorax. I hope you found that very useful and I look forward to speaking to you again shortly. Well done guys, take care.